Now to Capitol Hill, where a new study by the American Medical Association shows opioid prescriptions are down nearly 25 percent over the last four years. Overdose deaths, though, continue to go up. KRK4 Washington correspondent Drew Petromo reports on the battle in Congress over tough new rules aiming to slow the epidemic. The CDC says Arkansas has the second highest opioid prescription rate in the country. Here in Washington, special interest groups and lawmakers are facing off over the best way to fight the epidemic. Between 2013 and 2017, opioid prescriptions in the U.S. went down by 22 percent. Patrice Harris is chair of the American Medical Association, which represents doctors across the country. We are making progress uh, to reverse the opioid epidemic. At the same time, an AMA study found doctors are doling out more drugs that reverse opioid overdoses and fight opioid addiction. But with opioid overdose deaths continuing to rise, some in Congress are calling for bold action in the form of federal requirements aimed at reversing the trend. Some lawmakers want to implement a cap on the number of opioid pills doctors can prescribe. They're also proposing to require that doctors attend opioid training and use drug databases that track prescriptions. Those plans have the support of anti-addiction organizations like Shatterproof, whose CEO we reached by phone. If the industry can't regulate itself, then it needs to be regulated by our government. It's that simple. But the push in Congress for new federal regulations is getting pushed back from doctors. The AMA has expressed concerns over these sort of one-size-fits-all uh, mandatory approaches. The AMA says decisions about practice and treatment should be left to medical professionals. And the organization says its study shows success without heavy-handed regulation. But Shatterproof is not satisfied. When you have this epidemic kill killing so many people, we have to create change much faster. And that is setting up a battle in the halls of Congress over how to respond to the deadly crisis. Many of the proposals being considered are part of a piece of legislation called CARA 2.0. It's an update on anti-drug abuse legislation first passed in 2016. Congressional leaders are hoping for a vote on the bill later this year. Reporting from Washington, I'm Drew Petromo, KRK4 News.